love these movies. So John Wick Chapter 4 is the fourth chapter in what we call the absolutely amazing John Wick series. After the events of chapters 2 and 3, the table is pretty much the John Wick Illuminati. They're the, the council of this underworld of assassins. They want John Wick dealt with. Bill Skarsgård plays the one leading that charge, and now John Wick, who for two movies now has heard that beep, beep, beep sound in his ear because he's been at minimal HP. He's licked his wounds, he's healed up, now he's back to full HP, and now, yes, he's here to play. You wanna hear about the action, right? Well, we gotta talk about the characters first. First of all, I mean, I'm convinced Keanu is the only one who could keep this franchise going this long because he's, He's so Keanu on screen, in a way that no one else could be. Yeah. I would be shocked if I learned he had more than 10 lines in this entire film, but I kind of see his character, kind of see John Wick as the penitent one in silence and blasphemous a game, which I love. Where is Blasphemous 2 information? I just want a trailer, come on. The penitent one, he never talks, but he is the vessel taking the audience through this odyssey, through this world of rules and lore, and it's kind of what John Wick is. There are supporting characters in this film which hammer home the dramatic moments, John Wick's language that he communicates with the audience is one of action. But it's done so well, it's a communication that still does hit. <laughs> it's, it's a language all its own that they absolutely nail in John Wick. But the support characters in this film, I thought were great. Bill Skarsgård, I will use the word magnificent because that's, that's the kind of character he is. He, he's a magnificent character. Absolute douche, total prick. In that John Wick kind of world, it's a world of fashion and flair, big cathedrals, huge art galleries, amazing suits. And that's why we watch it. And he's the guy who wears the most expensive shit, but doesn't have one tenth the class. I thought he was great. Donnie Yen, his character, I felt lent some complexity, but also amazing physicality because it's Donnie Yen in a John Wick movie. Of course you're gonna use his physicality. Different characters giving different fight styles. The movie never feels redundant. And that's saying something. Two hour, 45 minute action film. A two hour, 45 minute action film. That's the fourth film in the franchise. Also Donnie Yen plays a blind badass. Like in Rogue One, this is kind of funny to me. And it totally works. It's like, oh, blind Donnie Yen. So he's gonna fuck everyone up. Everyone knows that? They're about to shed their mortal coil. Great, as long as they know. It totally works for former Jedi and John Wick characters. That's kind of, that's the realm John Wick's playing with here. Ever since the first John Wick, when we got to the Continental in the first John Wick, I was like, there is something comic book flavor in here and I love it. Let me just slip into it like a warm bath. And four continues to play with it amazingly. Also Shamir Anderson's character, true wild card. Also he has the dog, he's the dog element. He's the one with the attack dog that assists him because it's not a John Wick film without a dog. As for the action sequences, incredible, I think is putting it mildly because at this point you feel like, okay, it's the fourth John Wick movie. I've seen it all before, but not like this. The John Wick movies do a good job at escalation. You know, yeah, in John Wick movies before you've seen shootouts, you've seen hand-to-hand -hand combat, you've seen hand weapon combat, you've seen human body versus automobile combat, but not like you've seen it in John Wick chapter four. It just does an incredible job at making you feel like this is the first time you've experienced a John Wick film. Usually that's something that the first sequel has to deal with. Like how do we make two not feel like one? This is the fourth chapter, the fourth installment still feels new. There was actually an action sequence in here. I was like, I, I said to the dude to the left of me, I know him, don't worry, it wasn't weird. <laughs> <laughs> Not like I was like, hey dude, I've never met before. <laughs> I went, dude, this feels like a video game. And I meant that in the best way possible. And he replied, it feels like Hotline Miami. And my response was, can I use that in my video? Thank you, Aaron. I appreciate it. Just the perfect way to describe it. I was watching it. I was like, this is Hotline Miami. I didn't know what you're thinking. We've seen action sequences that feel like Hotline Miami. Not like this. I never felt the two hour, 45 minute runtime. At no point did I feel like I was watching a movie that was almost three hours. It always had great momentum. It was always being pushed forward. And they use all of that time to introduce characters that are actually interesting. Characters you wouldn't mind seeing in the future, possibly in spinoffs. I know we're already getting a spinoff about the Continental. I would not mind a spinoff about Donnie Yen's character. John Wick chapter four nails it, you know? So often in movies, you see characters that feel shoehorned into the movie to set up for a spinoff that no one asked for, but that's the sole reason they're there. John Wick chapter four, the characters are interesting in the movie. They make sense in the movie and you wanna see a spinoff because you wanna see more of those interesting characters. That's how it should be. In the end, what they delivered here wasn't just a John Wick movie. It's a John Wick odyssey. And John Wick chapter four is a testament to the John Wick films being among the cleanest and most satisfying 
action films we get in current Western cinema. As for the negatives in John Wick Chapter 4, Well, I guess that's that. Satisfying. That's the word for John Wick Chapter 4. Or if you prefer, awesome-tacular. <laughs> it has the style, the flair, and the world of rules that we know and love from a John Wick film. Also the action, they know the audience is craving at this point, and they dial it up to 11. You know when people say, oh, everything's bigger? doesn't necessarily mean better. I don't mind saying John Wick Chapter 4 is bigger and better than Chapters 2 and 3. All right, so John Wick Chapter 4, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Or how do you rank the John Wick films? Whatever you think, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.